Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sunday, what's going on? Hope everyone's getting double bubble. If you're not, start fighting for your rights, bro. Join a union. I'm joking. But yeah, everyone should be getting double bubble on a Sunday. But if you're not, I don't know, maybe in a stepping stone job, you know, you're just there so you can get a better job. That's all good, man. Stepping stone jobs are sweet. Today, I've got a rigging tip for new crane operators and even old crane operators. If you've been in the game 20 years, it's still good to do this. But what happened was when I was on the Gold Coast, I was driving this crane for a while. And it was my crane. I drove it every day. One man, one crane. Perfect way to run a crane yard. So I was on this crane. And every time I lifted over the left-hand side, it felt like, you know, you know, three, four ton, getting to three, four ton close to my safe working load, I felt the crane sort of coming up, like it felt like it was tipping. And I didn't like it. I was like, why is that doing that? And so I think the next day or the same day, I just got the rigger, my rigger, just to watch the feet at the back. And I came about two ton towards the safe working load. And he said, there's a bit of movement in these back outriggers. And I said, see, something's not right there. So I rang out my boss and I said, I don't think this crane's level. I, I, like, I've been driving this for a while now and it, and it doesn't seem right. So he goes, come back to the yard. So I went back to the yard and he goes, look, we ju we'll just put a level on it. And that's what we did and that's what you can do. And so what we did, we got the longest level we could find. I think we got a three or four meter level. Um, I don't know what you Americans have. I think I've got one American viewer. You would have a one yard level or fucking, I don't know, metrics. A, f a 50 inch level but anyway you get your biggest level that you can and you run it sideways right against the slew ring so the slew ring underneath your cab right against the slew ring and you run it left to right so for your left to right level and see if that's level and then you run it um, front to back right beside your slew ring so your slew rings there you get your side to side like a normal level and your front to back and just check if your crane's level. Now we checked ours, and our side to side was way out. I think the bubble was just got out of the lines. Now, someone was saying when the bubble's out of the line, it's only one degree. But I mean, look, we want things pretty. You know, you want things pretty good. You know what I mean? And so we adjusted our level. It was one of the manual levels, and so we adjusted it using the pins, and I got the crane level. And then from then, the crane felt like really good, you know, I wasn't thinking. Because you can feel it in the ass, you know what I mean? If the crane's coming up, you can feel it. And straight away, we knew it. Well, like, we knew it wasn't level. And so that's one tip I recommend. If you jump into a crane and it's your baby, you know, one man, one crane, I'd say just run a level on it in your spare time. Run a level on it side to side, back to front. And just see if it's level and then adjust the level um, and adjust the level, you know, to get it right. Now with these digital levels and levers and these new cranes, you would have to ask the manufacturer. So ring up lever, ring up, you know, um, Tadano, ring up whoever and see how you can adjust that or get, if you've got a mechanical department in your, um, in your crane yard, tell them about it and get them to do with it because the last thing I want is you're fiddling with the digital level and, and you wreck the crane and that's probably the last thing your boss wants. But very good tip, just check if your crane's level and that might keep you out of trouble. It might save you having an accident because they do go out, you know, on the old levels, the pins do move and you mean you don't know. So that's the tip, check if your crane is actually level. All good guys, like this video, subscribe here, Dow's Rigging and Crane Tips. Oh, yeah, yeah.